move on to the demonstration section of this task um, and we move on to the balance and flexibility testing. The balance and flexibility testing, there's two different types of tests. It's the balance, that will be the standing stock test, and the flexibility test, that will be the sitting reach. Okay, the standing stock, you have to make sure that you take your shoes off. With the standing stock, uh, you make sure that you have your one leg against your knee, and you once you lift up, from the ground onto your toes, lift your heel up, your instructor will start taking the reading. Oh, so you need a stopwatch. And your instructor will start taking so example. Foot to be flat. Once you lift up your heel, you start taking the reading. Once you lose balance, the reading stops. You can do this 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 test twice to make sure that your reading is Balance. Now we move on to the, the flexibility section of this demonstration and there will be certain reach. And with the certain reach you have to make sure that you have a box or a chair. Keep it down. Get down your down. Legs. Also make sure that you don't have the shoes on. Legs against there. Then you'd have a roller. Put the, the readings on and you push. Then you take the reading, you stop, you push for a second time, take the reading and you stop. And that is basically the flexibility and the balance testing. Okay, so now we move on to the Cardiovascular test. This is an auto section of my task. We move on to the cardiovascular test. Um, the test I selected today is the yo-yo intimate test. Um, the objectives of the yo-yo intimate test is uh, uh, the objectives of this test. Um, it is uh, individual aerobic endurance fitness. It is the it's basically the objectives of the test. Um, and equipment needed for this test would be on the equipment for the royal test uh, it's you have to make sure that there's a flat line slip surface um, you get marking cones and uh, a pre-recorded your know, intimate test audio okay so now we move on to the strength endurance test uh, I'm choosing one I'll be choosing the push-up test uh, the push-up test is a uh, Um, the protocols for the push-up test um, it, Protocols for the push-up test It is uh, make sure that your hands are shoulder width apart You have to make sure that your back is straight When going down you engage your core Making sure that you do not touch the ground When going down Make sure that you like Before touching the ground um, Coming back up Resting point for this test um, would be on top. I'm um, sorry for that. Uh, the resting position is the starting position, and now uh, that is the test, the uh, strength endurance test push protocols for the push up. Okay, so now we move on to the ACSM 7 side skin fold. Uh, the difference between the male and the female chest skin fold would be uh, the male skin fold would be from your nipple to your armpit it will be halfway from your nipple to your armpit and the female skin, chest skin fold would be one third from your nipple and your armpit um, we move on to the BMI test um, body mass index uh, with this test um, the positive and the, neg the negative consideration and the positive consideration for this test um, would be the positive consideration um, it is that it is a, it gives you a faster baseline of your client or participants your health and fitness and body fat 
gives you a faster baseline for that and the negative is that it's not consistent it would explain it will tell you that you're obese but the person is not actually obese so like you can't always rely on the bmi test yeah that would be all for today um i thank you i hope you enjoyed the video